Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing getting banned on Midjourney and what to actually do about it. Uh, so first off, let's be clear. I have been banned on Midjourney maybe like three times, three, four times, something like that. And before people start freaking out and worrying because maybe they've been banned reaching this YouTube channel, they're trying to look for a solution. First off, don't worry. Like calm down, take a deep breath. Don't worry. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> let's get this clear. You pay for a subscription on Midjourney, um, and you've been banned halfway through. They're not going to refund you. They're not going to give you your money back. Um, that's just the way it is. Okay. Uh, they have a, a whole series of different policies that states why someone would be banned. Right. So let me just make sure I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording here. Okay. Everything's good. Sorry, guys. But they have a whole a set of reasons why somebody b would be banned. Sometimes they say it's for scripting and botting. Sometimes they'll say, uh, you know, a fraudulent payment method. I mean, they have a whole host and litany of reasons, uh, which I really can't blame them. It's their software. They get to do what they want. All right. So let's be clear on that. Um, now, let's talk about the instances where I was banned and what I actually did about it to basically not have this issue. So first of all, first of all, let's get clear. Um the very first time I got banned, I was spam creating images. We're talking about there was no uh, there was no break in between each creation, and I just create, 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 create. So I'll take a prompt, paste it, take a prompt, paste it, take a prompt, paste it. In fact, there was this prompt that was working for me so well that I was just pasting over and over and over. I didn't do any editing to it, and I just kept pasting. Now, that was the first time that I got banned, and bans don't happen immediately over time what happens is is like after a few days of them uh, of, of certain creations being created then they'll ban you right if you're creating even inappropriate content they'll ban you now i personally don't have that problem there's some of you who do create that kind of stuff i personally don't have that issue uh so I, I don't worry about it there but regardless i was creating too quick and so creating over and over and over now some people might say well, did you get banned using the creation tool? So people who are watching me know that I use certain bots, right, to create certain images. And the answer is no. This was way before I even used the bots. This was kind of maybe a year into mid-journey, I would say. A year into mid-journey, the bots didn't, or I, I don't know if they existed or not, but I definitely didn't use them. And um, it wasn't something that I would use, okay, uh, at that time. You know, it was just for fun for print on demand, things like that. So I was creating over and over, uh, but essentially I didn't have any gap of a time in between each creation, so each prompt, uh, and that led to issues, okay? So that was the first ban. The second ban was I started to discover what bots were, and I did test certain bots that utilize something called the API. Now the API is basically some of these bot services that you can pay for, that will create mid-journey images for you while your computer is closed. So your computer doesn't have to be open. You don't have to be on Discord, but it will sit there and it will create for you automatically. Now, the interesting thing about that is, is that for me, um, I didn't really need to use it, but I was curious about it. So I tested it and instantly I got banned. I got banned like the second day of using it. Um, the third time I got banned, believe it or not, was another bot. So there were multiple bots, mid-journey bots out there. This is why I say you really, really have to watch out with what tools you use. Um, the third bot I was using was I didn't even get a chance to use it. I signed up for a free trial. I tested it with one image, one prompt creation, excuse me, not one image, but one prompt creation. And then I just didn't log on to mid-journey for the next few days went onto Midjourney and realized that I couldn't even access the account because I tapped into the Discord and it said you had been banned for using a bot. So that's kind of the whole point here. So have I been banned? I absolutely have been banned. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. If you've been banned on Midjourney, first off, don't worry. It's really not that big of a deal. It just means that you're doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. But here's the thing. Do they ban people innocently? Absolutely, they do. Like I said, that very first time, I didn't even know what a bot was. I wasn't using a bot on Midjourney, and yet they had banned me because I was just creating a little bit too quickly. Perfectly fine by me because there's always a way around things. So what I recommend you do is, first off, 
have a different email account, have a different Discord account connected to the email account. Uh, the the Discord account, uh, I believe, needs to have a phone number created. You can easily either a use a phone another phone number or just buy a phone number. Uh, one of those you know uh, easy to buy phone numbers that you could pay like two dollars a month for or five dollars a month depending on one website. And once you get that, you have a whole completely Discord account. You can go through MidJourney on there, use a different credit card, and you're good to go. That simple. Different payment method. Uh, and, and really, it is, like I said, that simple, and you're back on MidJourney. So it's, it's really no problems whatsoever. It's really not that big of a deal. And MidJourney has had a history of innocently banning people that really didn't do anything wrong. And the, the thing about a ban that pisses people off is like, it's almost like you're asking to pay to pay for the product, and yet they ban you. You know, that's kind of funny. It's kind of like counterintuitive, but they ban you. You know, they ban you, and it's perfectly fine, like I said. And if you don't like MidJourney, if you don't want to take your business there, there's a whole host of other, uh, you know, AI tools that we've even talked about on this YouTube channel that you can utilize. Now, maybe not all of them are perfect for certain applications. Like, you know, there are certain tools that I would not use for Redbubble or certain tools I wouldn't use for Adobe Stock or things like that. But, you know, there's a bunch of tools you can sit there and you can experiment with. And it doesn't matter if you're doing Etsy or if you're doing Shopify, if you're doing Zazzle, Society6, you know, TeePublic, Redbubble, whatever it is. Uh, there's tools for everybody out there. So, so really don't worry. Don't stress about it. Um, but that's essentially what you want to do to get your get another mid-journey account up and running. But guys, I've been banned. I'm sure you've been banned. Everybody's been banned at some point. And like I said, it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I was innocent. You know, that first time I was innocent. Some may argue my third time I was innocent. But that middle time wasn't really so innocent. You know, I was using one of those bots that shouldn't have been used. And, you know, that second time that I got banned, I started to open up my eyes to, you know, what's a good tool to use? What's a good bot to use? And a lot of people who have been watching me, watching me through my course, watching me through my other content, you know, on the um, stock photography type videos that you guys have seen, I kind of stressed how important it is when I first introduced the concept of these bots and started making videos about them. You know, it's very, very important to look at what tools you're actually using and if there's nobody who's going to try the tool before you, make sure you have like a test run. Don't just put yourself in the line of fire because people will come to me and say, hey, I found this tool online that's $20. I know the tool that you're recommending is 30 uh, Which one should I use or what should I do? I'm trying to save money. Well, I say, you know what? That other tool, you know, I, I haven't used it, but it could get you banned. So be careful. If you're going to use it, try it, you know, see how it works. And it, it might be in good. For, it might be good for you. Might not be. The point is, is that um, any tool that you're using that uses the API, guys, the API, will get you banned 100%. If you are using a bot, the ones that I have shown in my YouTube videos that automate mid journey for you and really, really just help you out and create a whole bunch of images for you and really take the effort out of the working. You want to pace it nice and slow, you know. The whole point of it is so that you could step away from the computer, do other things while it's working for you. So don't have you don't have to sit there and waste time, you know. And you want to do it safe and slow, and you know you'll reap the results over time. All right, don't really push it, you know. Sometimes, sometimes depending on who I'm talking to, if you're a high producer, sometimes more is less. And also, honestly, if this is a requirement for your business, if this is something that you're utilizing all the time, I highly recommend to create multiple accounts, you know, obviously some people might look at that the wrong way and, and they might be angry about that, that I'm even recommending something like that. But, you know, at the t the way I look business is the way I look at business, excuse me, I want to speak properly. The way I look at business is I'm trying to look for as many advantages that I can get. And so if paying for extra mid journey accounts can help me do that simultaneously. I'll do it, you know, just to create more images, just to ha make sure I have a consistent flow of images being posted on these different sites and they're doing well. You know, all kinds of different things like that is very important to me that I want to keep keep producing these images. And to be honest, for the subscription price that I'm paying, the output that I'm doing, the tools that I'm using and the websites that I'm posting to, it's really kind of like almost like a freebie. You know, it, the, the cost to produce this kind of stuff is very, very small. You know, think about it. At a very small level, you can get a mid-journey account. 
I think for the cheapest, and, and don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% right all the time, but I believe something like $30 a month or something close to that. You know, you take one of your images that you sell on Adobe Stock, you can sell that for a dollar. All you have to do is sell 30 more of those or something equivalent to that to where you can repay fully or replenish back fully your mid-journey subscription. You can create thousands of images during the subscription period, upload them, and then create hundreds of dollars in that meantime and just create more and more and more. So that's why I say it's kind of like a freebie where you know money is being available to be grabbed up and earned uh, in this kind of business right now. It might not be like that forever. You know, Maybe 10 years, 5 years from now, the, the game might change. But, you know, in the last year, the game has certainly changed. You know, back then when the images weren't, when I say back then, but really we're talking about a year and a half ago, when images really just weren't that high quality, it was hard to pick and choose which images you're going to create. Now you can almost, you know, close your eyes and just let the machine run. And almost every image created is going to be phenomenal. So, you know, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful in any kind of way. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. I'll try my best to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. By the way, if you want to watch more of my print-on-demand Adobe stock, you know, basically using AI image tools to make money off of them type videos, uh, just, just kind of scroll through my YouTube channel. You might see some content that might interest you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and peace out. Bye.